Hi, today um, I guess I want to talk a little bit about infertility and I'm not exactly for sure what I'm going to say. I'm just doing this to um, get clarity for myself, I guess, and maybe if somebody else is struggling, help them as well. Um, I was a week late on my period, which never happens. I'm pretty consistent with my cycle. It's not very often that I'm late. The only other time that I have been late on my period, I was pregnant. Um, that was about a year ago. We've been dealing with infertility for nine years now. I had worked it up in my mind that I was pregnant, the, again, um, lots of symptoms similar to being pregnant, like sore breasts, um, very bloated, tired, moody. Um, I took a pregnancy test on the day my period was due because I was so convinced I was pregnant and it was negative and I chalked it up to maybe I was uh, testing too soon. So I tried to stay positive. Um, day four of no period, I thought, okay, I'm gonna take another test. It was negative. I thought maybe I'm just testing too soon, maybe I ovulated late. Um, today I woke up and took a test, I would be five weeks pregnant today if I was pregnant. Um, it was negative. I still haven't gotten my period, but I have started spotting. And I know people would say spotting is typical for um, somebody who's pregnant. Lots of people spot, people have a full period when they're pregnant. Um, I just feel like I'm not pregnant. Um, I always spot before I get my period. Always. And just feel like if I was pregnant, it should have showed up on the pregnancy test today. Um, obviously, if I don't get my period, I'm going to go to the doctor and see what's going on. Um, but I do feel like my period is coming. And... I just wanted to say that infertility isn't fun. Um, it's hard for anybody that's going through it or anybody that has went through it. I think that most people can um, relate. Uh, most months, I'm okay with getting my period. Like I said, I've been doing this for nine years now. Um, I get the fact that most months I'm going to get my period, and that's just how it is. But for my period to be late, and to convince yourself that you're pregnant, and then not be... That's when it starts to play tricks on you, and it's hard on you, and your mind, and your body, and your spouse, because you want to be honest with them about what you're going through, and then you're so convinced you're pregnant, so you get them excited, and then you're not, and you feel like such a jerk because you got them excited for something that's not going to happen. And I should have just kept it to myself and not done that to him because you just constantly feel like you're letting them down. They should go find someone else, somebody who's skinnier, somebody who's fertile, 
somebody who can give them the family they deserve. I don't know what I'm getting out here other than I'm just trying to be honest about my day and this journey and I don't know if we're ever going to have a baby. A few years ago I would have said 110% we will get pregnant and I feel like I'm meant to be a mom but I guess on days like today, when you see that negative pregnancy test, you just... You just start to think, maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe it wasn't meant for me. Maybe I won't ever be a mom. I don't know. I just wanted to share our journey and to try to be a positive, uplifting person, and most of the time I am, <laughs> um, but today I'm struggling and I'm just trying to be, I don't know, as honest as I can, and um, this is how I'm feeling today, and I'm sorry if you're going through an infertility journey and you're watching this thinking, oh my gosh, she's given up. Um, I've not given up. I will try uh, every month until I guess I start menopause and it's not possible anymore. I will keep trying. Um, we're nine years into this. I don't know. I don't know where this journey is going to take us. I know where we're at now. And I just will keep trying to keep faith that something's got to give. But anyway, thank you for listening.